You're gonna need uh, four two by tens, impact driver, a scale saw, a tape measure, a pencil, a square or a ruler, doesn't matter, and some Gorilla Glue for in between the boards, three inch screws, just wood screws. Here's the plans, we're gonna go with a, a 48 inch uh, base. You could just pause the video and screenshot it and then draw up your own plans. So the base is gonna be 48 inches and every two inch board that we go up is gonna be cut by uh, six inches shorter and it basically make a ramp all the way up here. We're using five boards, five increments of six inch less each board. So that'll give us a 10 inch rise. And then at the end, we're gonna be left with two 12 inch pieces. So if we screw those to the back, it'll give us a two inch uh, backstop for when you're slowly creeping up and driving onto it, which I will demonstrate at the end. For each of my boards, draw all the cuts and make those cuts. Well, that was fun. Okay, so now I have all my lines marked, so I'm just gonna cut all my pieces and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, I now have the two pieces for each side because I'm making two of them. The only thing I got left to do is to put the angle to them before I can put them together. That's what I'm gonna do next. I recommended using a scale saw. Uh, I am not sponsored by DeWalt. This is my little plug for it, the 20 volt DeWalt system. I use it for everything. Um, basically, once I bought a couple of the five amp batteries, I just go on Amazon and I buy the tool only. It's the best deal you're gonna get. It's so nice to have a system that works well together. So I'm gonna leave some links in the description if you need to get some of these tools or batteries, highly recommended. I mean, DeWalt is top of the line, you know that. All right, so without further ado, what I'm gonna do right here, this is for your angle. You can tilt the plate. I'm gonna go 50 degrees, but I'm only gonna cut this much off each uh, tip. So that's what I'm gonna do right now to all these pieces. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're pretty much at the final step of the build. I have all my angles cut. So now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brush off the ex excess sawdust uh, in between the boards. I'm gonna put some glue down and I'm just gonna screw in some three inch screws in between each layer and between the wood glue and the three inch screws. It should last forever. So now we got the two two ramps finished. So your tire is gonna come up here. The reason we have this up here is at 24 inches. Well, before the cut anyway, is you want enough space for your tire to sit on when it's up there. We actually had two 12 inch pieces left, which make a perfect addition for the top here to create a little stop.
that's it. So now we got our two ramps. Okay, so one last addition before I test them out. I just figured these are pretty heavy. The wood's wet right now, so it's worse, but even when it's dry, they're pretty they're gonna be pretty awkward to carry, so I figured I'd make some handles for them. I actually have these old uh, dog bones. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, these old bolts as well, just gonna drill a hole, torque these down, and kinda stagger the handle so that they'll be easy to carry, kind of like a, a farmer's carry. So I'm gonna do that right now. There. I couldn't find my impact driver attachment for my sockets so I had to go to the old school way and I just noticed I put the handle on the wrong side really you'd want them opposite so it's more balanced when you're carrying it but for now that's what it's gonna be anyway here's a demo so it makes them able to carry But ideally, this one would be flipped and the handle kind of like that. It'd be more balanced out. But I mean, for what I'm doing, it should be fine. All right, let's try these bad boys out. All right, let's give it a shot. So for this, just to get better traction, I'm putting it in four high. I at the stops. Good. So now I have, I measured a while ago, but I have about two feet. Now I'm just gonna try backing up on them, just so you can see if I gotta hit the back with them. Let me know in the comments which undercoating you think I should go with. Uh, right now I'm going with fluid film and if you think of anything better let me know and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.